Hi everybody! Today I'm going to introduce you to Korean fermented soybean paste. How to make Korean doenjang. You know doenjang? What it is? That's a very essential Korean ingredient. Fermented bean paste. You can use this in many many of Korean recipes. To learn Korean cuisine, you are going to use doenjang. So many of you guys are following my recipe for years. I know some of you are really interested in learning how to make doenjang. But it took one year. I started with 5 pounds of soybean, dried soybeans. And then I just soaked it and make a measure block and dried, hang them on the wall and then ferment it. And then again dried, mix with the salty water and ferment it a couple of months. Bean block becomes doenjang. That salty water turns brownish. That's Korean soup soy sauce, amazingly tasty. So usually like when I make some soup, I always use, you know, you guys know that, like fish sauce. If you have a homemade soup soy sauce, you don't need fish sauce. Just you can use homemade soup soy sauce. Doenjang, ganjang, these two guys are made. So this is a, such a long journey, but it's worth working hard. Let's go back in time, one year. I'm going to start with dried soybeans. All together, five pounds. Pick out any dead beans or something brownish stuff, see, like this. I don't want to make this match with this. This corn is here. <laughs> Soak them in a really generous amount of water, almost uh, like three times more than beans. Today is a big day for us because we started this project. We got to commit to this making delicious doenjang from now on. I'm soaking this for one day, like 24 hours. Tomorrow, exact the same time. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys. Today, let's make meju, meju bean block. Yesterday, we soaked beans here, soybeans. I just changed some water like a couple of times uh, because it's a bubble. Bubbles are coming up and kind of slippery stuff on top. So I just pour out the water and just rinse this. Couple of times, I changed the water. So it looked like this. Still, you can see the bubble here. First, we are going to wash this and drain and then boil for a long time. After that, I'm going to mash these beans and then make a bean block. So I'm going to strain this. My strainer is small, so I'm going to wash this first. The day of making doenjang is a big deal. Oh, you have to be in good mind and happy. All this is your spirit or all your like some mood. All this is going to be reflected in this important, important ingredients, the ganjang and doenjang, that your family can eat for one year. Medium high heat, let's start. So one hour later, and then let's turn down the heat between the low and medium. And turn it over like this. And then you can close the lid. This beans has to be cooked really until really easily smashed. You can do other house chores or you can read a book, 
but always you know, pay attention to your beans. I've been cooking these beans for five hours over medium heat. So now really, really, really tender. Easily you can crush. See it like this. Oh, hot, hot. Okay, here you go. What we have to do is to mash these beans when it's hot. And then you can use a food processor or you can use a mortar and pestle. Which one do you think I will use? Make my life more easier. Still there are some beans, it's not ground. Never mind. But when you make doenjang, instead of all ground, just sometimes, you know, beans is still there, it's more delicious looking. All this paste is going to be our doenjang. Exciting. My next pot of these beans. I'm going to use some pestle. So, kong, 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 let's pound. Yeah, housewife should be strong. You know? If you are not strong, how can you pound like this? Actually, I'm not very strong, but uh, this is my, you know, the wrist. This power is very powerful. And also when I just, you know, like grab this, you know, really, really strong. Okay, I'm going to make a block first. Let's wash my hands and your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> make one large lump. So three uh, equal size divide this. Roughly, you can divide. I'm going to make this a nice measure, one by one. Since yesterday, we started you know, soaking these beans, and then all day boiling, and then this making this, I feel really like achieved today. Next. Nicely, well, make shape. So now we have three medju blocks. What are we going to do? We have to dry them out for a couple of days. My grandmother's house in Korea, she used to have, like her room is like a heated floor. And then she used to dry them out. That kind of a heating system, we call this ondo. Uh, but in New York, we don't have this. So I'm using electric mat. It works very, very well. And then turn on the, your electric mat around the medium. Smells really good. Can you believe this already starting fermenting? I see there like some white fungi inside. And then, but outside is very dried, but inside is still really soft. We have to dry them out. Uh, important thing is every side of each bean block, so it shouldn't be touched each other so that all the air ventilate and dried. 
I took them down. Good. I love this smell. Even just three blocks make my living room really, you can say it's stinky, I can say pungent, delicious smell. This is a cardboard box and this is an electric mat. It's a hay from farmer's market yesterday. And another, so three. Aren't they cute? This is a between the, there should be gap, right? And close this, my blanket. So low heat, and we are going to ferment this. The reason I added the hay on the bottom, usually in Korea, we use rice straw, but hay also is working well. Hay will attract bacteria in the air. Even if you don't have hay, still it attracts bacteria. So we are going to have some nice, good, delicious fungi here. Hello everybody! Long time no see. My meju is well fermented and dried. Really like rock and even light. Lighter than before because everything is so dried. There's a lot of cute, beautiful color. It's yellowish fungi is growing here. How can I know my meju is well done? When I smell, smell this. This is really earthy, a little stinky. You can say stinky. I said it, earthy. And quickly wash. Don't wash it too long time. It's not a laundry. I don't want my meju is soaked in water. So just wash it quickly and uh, remove this fungi and dry. Inside of between a lot of gaps. And then we just have to like shake like this and uh, remove the, all the water. I'm going to put this in my most ventilated and sunny spot in my house. My meju is well dried. It smells good. Today, I'm going to soak this meju in salty water using this hangari. Hangari is earthenware crop. Then I'm going to set aside so let's take care of my hangari first. I washed and dried in the sunlight and then open this and then well dried, clean. But I like to make that more, you know, the sterilize. So sterilize using charcoal. This is a Korean charcoal. You can get this at the Korean grocery store. This is wood charcoal. Be sure to buy wood charcoal. I'm going to break into a few pieces thinly. I will just burn this using my gas stove. Only two charcoal pieces. I will burn this until it's turned into red. Let's turn off. And then first the bigger one, be careful like this. I will just put it this. And small one. And then Let's drizzle honey. Oh, it smells like a caramel smell. Oh, smoky. There we go. Don't ever use any like water or anything from this. So I'm going to clean this. Like this. Next, we gotta fill this with salty water. Salty, salty water. We need three and a half gallons of water and plus 20 cups of salt. This is a kosher salt. Very clear, nice salty water we got this. You see that? All the sunk, the part above the water is the size of a quarter, isn't it? 
Uh, this is right ratio of salt and water. I'm going to use two magic blocks. Charcoal and jujube. And then my red pepper, home dried red pepper. That's it. Jujube and dried pepper, charcoal. I'm going to cover this with mash. Next, we are going to let these guys sit in the sunny spot in your garden. Sometimes a very sunny day, once in a while, open this. Really a lot of sunlight go through this. And then cover this. So don't forget, always you have to be careful. If you put it this outside of the house, especially rainy day, just close, close the lid. Otherwise, if this has rain, it's gone. It's going to be spoiled. So no plain water should go inside from this moment. I'm living in the apartment. I even I don't have a patio. I find the brightest, sunny spot. And then put this, my hangari, there. In sunny days, I take off the top. In a few months, this salty water turn into really amber brownish color. And meju blocks is going to expand. All delicious thing is coming out from the meju block and the color change. Hi guys, welcome back. Today, very special day for us because I'm going to separate this ganjang and duenjang. I'm going to show you something very exciting thing inside. It was uh, something is blooming. I want to show you. Come on. Let's open. Mmm. Smells very pungent. Okay. Open here. Look at this. Look like a flower. This is a kind of a fungi. And I got this flower, beautiful, you know, white flower. When this guy is fermenting, all kinds of bacteria and fungus is just coming up. Sometimes you see the white, yellow, and even black. So we just believe that this white flower, if you have, you'll get rich. So my grandmother said, oh, you have white flowers, that means you'll get rich this year. So I'm lucky, isn't it? I'll show you the other one. Open this. Oh my, this guy, wow. It looks like a coral, you know? Isn't it pretty? Yeah, this is good. All the red chili pepper soaked. And this jujube. From this moment, be careful. No water inside. Don't wash your hands. Before doing taking care of this, you need to wash your hands very clean. So this is my basin and my strainer. And this strainer is too coarse. So I'm going to use kind of a few folded this cheesecloth. Wow, look at this magic block. Clean this. This is a stem for the chili pepper. Okay, and then charcoal. I'm going to clean around here, mouth part. You don't have to clean, you know, bottom part. Just uh, mix this like this. Mmm. I love this smell. And then put it back. Okay, and then this one too. So this is, let's move here. I'm going to mix this again. All break it and until soft and smooth. Just like a flower dough, you, when you need this, like this.
It's a little bit a little moist. It should be a little wet because it, during this process, the tenjang is fermenting. Over the month, some liquid is going to be evaporated. So we don't want that really like a dry tenjang. So it should be a little wet. You can eat it from now, but it's not fermented yet. We need to ferment th three to five months. Mm, salty, salty. So I'm going to filter this, my soy sauce, one more time. So nothing much is here. So now I'm going to put this into my jar. This is a very serious work. Around one cup ganjang, I'm going to put this in my doenjang. I will just sprinkle some salt on top again. And then, again, just close the meat like this. As you see, I didn't use any water. Okay, now. This is not yet finished. I need to boil this guy, this to make the nice Korean soup soy sauce. But in my house, I cannot boil, because if I boil, smelly, smelly, this house is full of smell, all neighbors. I'm living in right Manhattan, New York City, and probably I may get arrested. So I'm going to take this guy to the, so my secret place, and then boil, and then strain one more time, that's it. And then I can use this, you know, never, never uh, go bad, this ganja. And then this is soybean paste, I'm going to put this in my really brightest, sunny, most sunny side, and then I'm going to put this back again. And then wait around four to five months, and then after that, I will have a really delicious homemade doenjang. My ganjang is boiling right now, and then what else can I do? I just secretly I brought this my beer, so beer Modelo, <laughs> Modelo beer, Mexico, made in Mexico, and nobody knows. Only you see. I'm thirsty. Oh, good. Wow, Modelo is a little bitter. Yeah? Yay, yay, yay! Wow, boiling! This smells stinky, really fermented smell. I love this smell. I'm going to boil this 10 more minutes here. The strong sunlight is a natural disinfectant. 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 <laughs> How did you like my doenjang project? It took one year. But through this YouTube video, I will try to edit it really short. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my doenjang. So this is doenjang we made. And whenever you take some, always press it down on top. We don't have to refrigerate it. So let me taste. Mm. Mm. Very, very salty, very deep flavor. This, uh, this guy is almost five months fermented in this hangari. Let's taste soy sauce. This is a fungi. Just you can remove this. One year old soy sauce. Let's taste. Mm. 
Mm. It's good. And then this one is uh, my precious stuff. 2012 is uh, how many years? 2016, so four years old. This one actually, when I made my cookbook, I made this. Mmm, tasty and very strong, pungent, and I like to make some the beef radish soup with this. My four years old ganjang is the darker than this, isn't it? And more pungent. Okay, go back to your house. How did you enjoy my ganjang and ganjang journey? It's so fun sharing such long recipes through short YouTube video, isn't it? Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.